Yes, you can find. For one second, I agreed to host our town hall meeting. This is the second time we'll be holding a town hall meeting here in Kaduna. Each time we came calling, His Excellency has always welcomed us with open arms and shown us great hospitality. The Excellency, we thank you and we shall come again. <laughs> For the record, the Minister of Information and Culture launched a town hall meeting series in Lagos on April 25th, 2016 to provide a platform for the federal government to, re to regularly give account of its stewardship to the people, get a feedback and input from them, and overall to enhance citizens' participation in governance. This stand hall meeting today is the 18th edition. Distinguished ladies, gentlemen, and gentlemen, this stand hall meeting we seem setting benchmarks for enhanced security and national unity in Nigeria. It's yet another in a series of efforts of government in its expansive consultation with stakeholders to address the twin issues of insecurity and its concomitant effect on our national unity and cohesion. Ominously, the general state of insecurity as reflected in incidences of farmers' headers clashes, the Boko Haram insurgency, banditry, ethno-religious clashes and intolerance, Autism, drug addiction, and kidnapping for ransom are now triggering a rising call for secession as well as politicization of ethnic and religious differences. Bluntly put, the insecurity and its manifestations pose a dangerous threat to the unity of the country and its continued existence as one indivisible nation. How do we get here, and what can we do to change the narrative? We believe that finding a way out of the situation in which we have found ourselves requires teamwork, reflecting all diversities and leveraging on all our collective creativity to pursue with diligence the project of rescue Nigeria. Perhaps the correct starting point towards addressing this myriad of problems is the building of an elite consensus on the security, unity, indissolubility, and peaceful existence of Nigeria. Such elite consensus had worked in the past. Can we make it work now and provide solutions in order to stave off the threat to our unity as a nation? This is why we have decided to bring all critical stakeholders together under a town hall meeting setting to deliberate on the issue, on the issues and possibly reach a consensus on the way forward. We expect this town hall meeting to develop concrete implementable, implementable resolutions because a lot of talks and postulations are taking place with little or no requisite outcome. We have no doubt that with the seriousness of the issues involved, the expected contributions of a wide range of stakeholders and the quality of our panelists, including the lead presenter, Professor Jibril Ibrahim, and our discussants, Mrs. Ibuku Awoshika, Professor Chudi Uwazurike, both of whom will join us virtually, Professor Sakanuru, and also Mrs. Kukuri Gafuna. This time our meeting will go a long way we provide solutions to what 
has now become an existential crisis. On that note, I want to once again welcome you all to this town hall meeting for national security and also to thank you for your kind attention. As we're having problems linking with the president, virtually, I will now just move on to please call on the lead discussant, Professor Jibril Nubuddin, Jibril Ibrahim, to please give his uh, address while we're working to get the president to join us in this deliberation. I thank you very much. That when you tax people, then you make them more responsible, and then you become more, uh, uh, more accountable. And that really the, uh, the, the abolition of the Tangali tax did more to endanger, endanger our, you know, our internal security than the crisis solved. And let me thank the lead presenter for a very powerful, insightful, and deep paper. He didn't just enumerate challenges, he proffered solutions. Those solutions will come in handy when we collate the views from this time hall meeting. I also want to apologize to Professor De Brain for not giving him enough time to present this rich paper, which we have already circulated widely. But it's interestingly enough, you know, I was not the one that did not give him enough time. On the contrary, it was the presenter, because actually, the first time I came around to, to, to the young lady here, I said, please give Professor Ibrahim 15, no, 10 more minutes extra. But unfortunately, when you were giving the paper, you thought we were asking you, you had only 10 more minutes. When I saw that, I came back again and I said, I mean 15 more minutes. So thank you, Professor, because I took time to read your paper and it's a, it's a, it's a treasure. I can say this. It's a real treasure. The, the, the discussants were no less insightful in dissecting the lead paper. Professor, Nuru's paper needs a whole session of town hall meeting because of its richness and death. Uh, for many of us, we would, uh, we would not believe that Professor Nuru is 84 years old. And you can imagine how alert he is and how agile he is. Professor Nuru gave us an insight into the farmers' elders clash, clashes that many of us were hearing for the first time today. Professor Wazurike painstakingly dissected the paper by Professor Gibril. He ended up on a positive note that we are at the cost of creating a new Nigeria that can march forward and be sustained on the basis of justice and equity. I want to thank Professor Wazoriki for his kind words on the town hall meeting and his advice regarding the need for a national retreat to deepen our discourse. Professor Egafana took the discourse to another level, reading out a number of immediate, short, and long-term solutions to the challenges we face. Her comment on the need to engage the civil society is well noted. Finally, Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika's contribution, sorry, Mrs. Ibukun Awoshika wrapped things up 
beautifully and with great passion. A statement that we are many decades too late to pull the country apart is very, very important. And I think it should be one of the major takeaways from this uh, town meeting. And of course, she has a, rhetor a rhetorical question. What is our national consensus? She also said, now is the time to act to save our country. Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, the students and gentlemen, it has been a day of great discuss, and I believe the outcome of this town hall meeting will go.